Hey guys, welcome back. So uh, as you can see, we've got another frame here. So this one is uh, another project that we have going on here. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, show you what you wanna keep when you're stripping a frame down for an axle swap. So uh, this is a 2005 to 2007 frame. This is my ideal frame for doing axle swaps. I'm gonna show you why that I like the 05 to 07 setup over the 08 and newer. So we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna cover a couple things for you here. And uh, this specific axle swap is going on a 1999 truck. So we're gonna be doing something a little bit newer again. However, the same um, things apply for the OBS trucks as far as why you would want something like this. So let me grab the camera and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so let's go ahead and start at the front here. So, we're going to be replacing these coil buckets on this anyway because uh, they're uh, pretty crusty on top here. So, yeah, this is a common problem with these. So, you know, they are uh, two-piece steel and they're powder coated. And as you can see, powder coat and salt don't exactly mix. So we'll be replacing these as you can see why. But anyway. The 2005 to 2007 trucks, they don't have this divot in the frame right here. So these coil buckets are completely flat on the back side, which makes it a lot easier to install on your axle swap truck, be it an OBS or an earlier model Super Duty. Okay, so <clears throat> that's what you want with that. That's why I like the 05 to 07 on the coil buckets. 05 to 07 on the steering box. You have a splined shaft. This shaft will go right to your OBS or 99 to 04 Super Duty truck steering shaft. So you can use this steering box. That's very, very nice. You can't use the bolts. They're not long enough. You have to get new bolts. Okay, sway bar. So down here with this sway bar, as you can see, this one's off already. It is a stud type mount. So you are able to actually adjust this for your height very easily. You can extend these or shorten them, whatever you need. Um, so if you want to run a front sway bar, these are a lot easier to uh, modify to make it work for your application. So we'll just put that back there for right now. So pretty simple up here. You still can't use this track bar mount. However, you can use this track bar mount on a 9904 truck. And like I said, I'm going to uh, be doing an axle swap on this. I'm going to try my best to cover it for you so that uh, you guys can have some information on doing a Super Duty axle swap on a Super Duty. So we'll try to cover that as well. So nothing new over here. This guy's uh, also got to come out of there also. Also, we are going to be using these as well. So I'll have to cut all these rivets out. There's actually, I think two or three on the bottom as well. You can use these leaf springs. So if you have good leaf springs, these are usable for you for a Super Duty or an OBS. The OBS requires you to drill out the hangers and also the shackles back here. However, um, if you wanted to use these leaf springs, you're more than welcome to. So you can use these leaf springs and generally these bolts will come out. These are actually already loose, as you can see by the uh, retaining nut back here. So we'll be able to use these bolts over again, which is great. So this is the one thing that really I love. So on the 05 trucks, 05 and up, you got a shock in the back, a shock in the front. So on your older trucks, so 2004 and older, both of these shocks are in the same position. I can't remember. I think it's both forward or both back on the on the Super Duties. Uh, OBSs are both forward. So this shock mount that's back here is in the right spot. That one over there is not. So why do I like these so much? Well, if you look here, See that U-bolt on that shock mount? Yeah, you can unbolt that and flip that mount completely around and it will stay there. Uh, I've done this on a couple trucks. I did this on my personal truck that has almost 200,000 on the swap and it's never given me a lick of problems. It's never moved, nothing. So here we'll get you a front shot here. As you can see, there's two nuts there holding that shock mount on. So you can flip that baby right around without an issue. That is the one thing that really 
makes it easy for the 05 to 07 axles because if you use the newer axles, those shock mounts are welded on. So that makes your life a lot harder. So try to use these 05 to 07 axles for uh, axle swaps because it's just so much easier to mount to an older truck. So we try to, uh, if we're gonna do an axle swap, this is our go-to um, year range. So, cause you can use a lot more parts and a lot of the parts are a lot easier to use. So just a short video for you guys today. Um, we're gonna try and get this all sorted out here. As you can see, I've, I've torn pretty much everything out of this frame already. Uh, the fuel tank's sitting here. I've got the brake line hanging there. All the fuel lines and stuff are out of here. And we're just getting ready to take this back outside and we're gonna take the axles completely out of it and hopefully get rid of this frame because it's bent in the front from an accident. So it's gotta go. So some other interesting information for you is this track bar is, I do believe, 406 foot-pounds for your torque. This Pitman arm nut is 350 foot-pounds for torque. And as you can see, there's no good way to get anything on there, okay? So you either have to take the steering box out, which is not any fun because A, it's already heavy, and then you've also got generally everything else in your way. You know, you have a sway bar that's not here now, but the sway bar's here. You got power steering lines you got to deal with. You have your drag link that's now down here. But, um, you know, before you tackle a project like this, please make sure that you have adequate tools uh, to put this stuff back in. You know, the Super Duty stuff is definitely a lot heavier than the OBS stuff, and even the 05 and up Super Duty stuff is a lot heavier than the 99 to 04 stuff. So bigger bolts, bigger torque. Um, you want to make sure that you're running, you have the ability to torque this stuff down correctly. And I actually purchased a three quarter inch torque, torque wrench, and I actually bought a Pitman arm puller specifically for the steering boxes and the torque adapter for the steering boxes. So it actually uh, is real thin. It will fit up in here so you can actually torque this Pitman arm on while the steering box is in the truck so you can get that adequate torque. So that's something that uh, I wanted to bring up because you don't want to just say, oh, we're just going to run it on with the impact. It'll be fine. Um, it, it's very possible that it may not be. So you want to make sure that you get adequate torque on this stuff, especially this track bar mount here, this bolt, because this bolt is the only thing keeping your truck from driving itself off the road, so to speak. So uh, hopefully we can get another video of this truck soon. Uh, we don't have the truck here yet that this is going in. So we're gonna go ahead and get this all sorted out, make sure that these axles aren't in need of anything. And once we get that other truck here, we're gonna go ahead and get it stripped down uh, get the axles out from under it because it will be a whole truck and get these axles bolted up underneath it. So we'll go ahead and cover all that. So that'll be something different that we haven't done yet. Uh, we'll, so I'll make sure that I cover as much of that as I can if I'm able to. And, you know, we still have this frame and then also have um, the other ones back here that have been waiting on parts. So we have uh, this one here, which is the 2001 with a 2006 frame and then we still have Brent's project over here, which we're waiting on a cab So we have uh, no shortage of projects around here So we're gonna make sure that we uh, try to get as much of this done as possible So thanks for watching guys. I really appreciate uh, the subscriptions and also the likes and comments So if you have any questions or you're worried or you want to you're not sure about something feel free to ask Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one